What's up, guys? This is Chris from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NBA playoffs. Saturday, May 29th. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. In this video, I'm gonna go over my top picks for today's NBA slate. And if you stick around to the very end of this video, we'll use the draft dashboard tools to make a DFS lineup using the picks we just made. Okay guys, NBA playoffs. We have a four game slate today. So let's take a look at the point guard position. I like Mike Conley from the Utah Jazz playing the Memphis Grizzlies who have the 13th worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing point guards. Mike Conley has averaged 32.1 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 29 minutes per game with a 23% usage rate. But he scored 45 50 and 40 fantasy points in the last three games playing uh, 37 33 and 21 minutes so playing over 33 minutes per game the past two games that's encouraging and he scored 45 and 50 fantasy points in those games so he's projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight that's 5.3 times value he's 7,900 FanDuel salary and he's 1100 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. He scored 45, 50, and 49 fantasy points in his last three games versus the Grizzlies. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. So I like Mike Conley here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, another point guard that I like is Fukandu Campazzo from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the 12th worst defense overall and they give up the seventh most fantasy points to opposing point guards. Fukundu Campazzo has scored 39 and 34 fantasy points in the last two games playing 32 and 30 minutes. He's projected at 32 fantasy points here tonight and that's 5.2 times value. He's 6,200 FanDuel salary and 200 less on DraftKings. So I like this pick because he scored 39 and 34 fantasy points in his last two games versus the Trailblazers. And Vegas thinks this is going to be a high scoring game. 227.5 points scored in this game. It's a good matchup. He's been on fire. So I like Facundo Campazzo here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, now Russell Westbrook, he tweaked his ankle last game. He's questionable. He's a game time decision. He did not practice on Friday. So if Russell Westbrook is out, even if he's not out and maybe he's gonna be limited, gonna give the ankle a go, but maybe he doesn't play his full amount of minutes. So you gotta take a look at a guy like Ish Smith from the Washington Wizards playing the Philadelphia 76ers who have a good defense overall and they've been good versus opposing point guards. Now Ish Smith has averaged 18.8 fantasy points per game on the season playing an average of 21 minutes per game with a 16% usage rate and he scored 15, 23, and 23 fantasy points in the last three games playing 23, 22, and 22 minutes. So he hasn't done all that bad, um, just, you know, even within with Russell Westbrook in there. But if he gets some extra minutes because Russell Westbrook is out or limited, he could score over 25 fantasy points here tonight and crush value. But he's projected at 24 fantasy points. That's 5.2 times value. He's 4,600 FanDuel salary and he's 200 more on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 227.5 points scored in this game. So I like Ish Smith here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. And just a quick DraftKings pick for you at the point guard position. Ben Simmons is in a great spot on DraftKings. He's 9,000 FanDuel salary, 
but he's 1,400 less on DraftKings, and he scored 52 and 51 fantasy points in the last two games. So I think his price is just way too low on DraftKings. It's a fantastic matchup. So I like Ben Simmons on DraftKings here versus the Washington Wizards. Okay, guys, it's time to announce the winner of our $100 weekly PayPal giveaway. And the winner is James Eckwheeler. James Eckwheeler, congratulations. You are the winner of this week's $100 PayPal giveaway. Please reply to our comment to collect your prize. Before I continue with the picks, I'm excited today because we added a new contest for everyone watching. If you want to enter the drawing for $100 PayPal, all you need to do is like this video, hit that subscribe button, and make a quick comment below to be entered into the drawing. We'll reply to a random comment and let you know that you won, and then we'll send you $100 PayPal. So it's that easy, and we pick a new winner every Saturday and announce them in our video. So get your comment in now so I can add another entry for you. Now guys, just as a quick note, we just released a free DFS contest on Draft Dashboard for MLB and NBA for DraftKings and FanDuel. There's over $500 available in the prize pool. And this is a totally free contest. You can enter as a Draft Dashboard member. So make sure to click the link in the description of this video, give Draft Dashboard a try, and you can start playing in our free DFS contest and compete to win some money. Okay, let's take a look at the shooting guard position. So this is this is just a gut call for me. Um, I don't really know. There's not a lot of data that supports this pick here, but he did play 24 minutes last game. And I know this guy has, what does he have? He's got a, almost a one point per minute average, one fantasy point per minute average, 0.9 fantasy points per minute. So I think this guy could be a fan duel sleeper pick. I like Tyler Hero from the Miami Heat playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they're middle of the pack defending opposing shooting guards. So Tyler Hero, he hasn't played that well in the playoffs, only scored 14, 12, and 19 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 24, 17, and 19 minutes. Now, he's averaging 27.2 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 30 minutes per game with a 24% usage rate, and he did play 24 minutes last game, so if he can get close to 30 minutes, that would put him uh, over 25 fantasy points, and he could crush value on FanDuel. Now, he is projected at 23.7 fantasy points, and on FanDuel, that's 5.4 times value. That, proje that projection might be a little bit high, but considering he's been playing, considering he played 24 minutes last game, I think he's got a good chance to hit that projection. I think I need to lower that just a little bit, but um, he is only 4,400 FanDuel salary. Now he's 800 more on DraftKings, so I'm not playing him on DraftKings, but I think he makes a good sleeper pick on FanDuel at only 4,400 salary where he can score 25 fantasy points or more and he's got 30 plus fantasy point upside. I think that game's coming for him. So it's a sleeper pick only, tournament play only. So I like Tyler Hero on FanDuel here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, another shooting guard that I like is CJ McCollum from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they've been good versus opposing shooting guards, but CJ McCollum has averaged 37.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 39, 26, and 36 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 41, 38, and 36 minutes. He's projected at 39.4 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.3 times value. He's 7,400 FanDuel salary, and he's 100 less on DraftKings. So we know Vegas thinks there's going to be 227.5 points scored in this game. So I like CJ McCollum 
here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, now considering that Russell Westbrook is going to be either, oh, well, he's questionable. So if he's out or if he's limited, I think either way, I like Bradley Beal from the Washington Wizards playing the Philadelphia 76ers who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing shooting guards. Bradley Beal has averaged 44.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 34% usage rate. He scored 44 and 51 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 34 and 40 minutes. Now, because of the ankle injury for Westbrook, he's projected at 50 fantasy points here tonight. We're expecting him to get a have a much higher usage rate and maybe play a few more minutes here. So he's projected at 5.1 times value on FanDuel because he's 9,800 FanDuel salary, but he's 800 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. And if Russell Westbrook is out, I think that makes Bradley Beal a lock on DraftKings and a really strong play on FanDuel. So Bradley Beal has scored 44, 51, 20, 75, and 44 fantasy points in his last five games versus the 76ers. So I like Bradley Beal here versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Okay, let's take a look at the small forward position. I like Jimmy Butler from the Miami Heat playing the Milwaukee Bucks, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing small forwards. Jimmy Butler has averaged 54.6 fantasy, uh, 45.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 34 minutes per game with a 27% usage rate. He scored 39, 23, and 44 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 31, and 45 minutes. He's projected at 48.4 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.4 times value. He's 9,000 fan duel salary, and he's 400 less on DraftKings. Now that projection may be a little bit high, but even if he only scores 45 fantasy points, that's still over five times value. And Vegas thinks there's going to be 221.5 points scored in this game. It's a great matchup. So I like Jimmy Butler here versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Okay, another small forward that I like is Kyle Anderson from the Memphis Grizzlies playing the Utah Jazz, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing small forwards. Kyle Anderson has averaged 29.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 27 minutes per game with a 19% usage rate. But take a look at his last three games. He scored 33, 40, and 39 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 36, 30, and 39 minutes. He's projected at 33.1 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 6,600 fan duel salary, and he's 500 less on DraftKings. So I like that price on both sides, but looks like a really good DraftKings price. And he scored 33, 40, 40, and 33 fantasy points in his last four games versus the Jazz. Vegas thinks there's going to be 223.5 points scored in this game. So I like Kyle Anderson here versus the Utah Jazz. Real quick, guys, I got great news. For a limited time, we're offering a full 30-day trial to Draft Dashboard. You can try all of our DFS tools for all sports. You can try the Position Optimizer, where you can see the top players ranked for each position. And we added a new Player Trends tool, where you can see the top salary differences between FanDuel and DraftKings. It's a really good tool to help you pick out value for the site that you're playing on. Oh, and if you're tired of doing research every day, we just added a cheat sheet that shows hand-picked plays for the slate. No confusing stat lines, no headaches, just a simple cheat sheet that shows the absolute best players for your lineups. Okay, let's take a look at the power forward position. I like Robert Covington from the Portland Trailblazers playing the Denver Nuggets, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the absolute most fantasy points to opposing power forwards. 
Robert Covington has averaged 25.9 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 12% usage rate. He scored 30, 14, and 18 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 38, 37, and 34 minutes. So he's been playing monster minutes the past couple of games. And I gave you guys this pick last game when he scored 30 fantasy points because he was just playing way too minutes. His price was way too low. And I know he's got that 30 fantasy point upside and he showed it last game. So that was a great play. So he's projected at 27.1 fantasy points here tonight. And that's 5.2 times value. He's 5,200 FanDuel salary and he's 500 less on DraftKings. So Vegas thinks there's going to be 227.5 points scored in this game. So I like Robert Covington here versus the Denver Nuggets. Okay, another value play that I like at the power forward position is Royce O'Neal. He's another guy that's playing a ton of minutes and he's got decent upside here just because of the amount of minutes that he's playing and his price is so low. So Royce O'Neal from the Utah Jazz playing the Memphis Grizzlies who have a middle of the pack defense overall. They're middle of the pack defending opposing power forwards. Royce O'Neal has averaged 21.6 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 32 minutes per game with a 10% usage rate. Now he scored 27 fantasy points last game, played 33 minutes, and he's projected at 21.5 fantasy points here tonight, and that's 5.1 times value. He's 4,200 FanDuel salary, and he's 400 more on DraftKings. So I prefer that FanDuel price. I think there's some other value play, uh, other value players. I'd rather play Robert Covington on DraftKings, but on FanDuel, I like Royce O'Neal here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, now another power forward that I like, these are all sal uh, value to mid-range plays here. I like Daniel Gafford from the Washington Wizards playing the Philadelphia 76ers, who have a good defense overall. They've been good versus opposing power forwards. Daniel Gafford, he scored 25, 25, and 47 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 20, 20, and 22 minutes. He's projected at 27 fantasy points here tonight. That's 5.1 times value. He's 5,300 FanDuel salary, and he's 1,100 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. I think Robert Covington and Daniel Gafford make for very interesting value plays on DraftKings. Robert Covington playing a ton of minutes, where Daniel Gafford playing 20 to 22 minutes but he's been super productive so I like Daniel Gafford here versus the Philadelphia 76ers okay moving on to the center position I'm gonna give you a stud pick here I like Nikolai Jokic from the Denver Nuggets playing the Portland Trailblazers who have the 12th worst defense overall and they're middle of the pack defending opposing centers Nikolai Jokic has averaged 54.7 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 35 minutes per game with a 30% usage rate. He scored 55, 54, and 54 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 31, and 35 minutes. And he had a 37, 36, and 39% usage rate in those games. And he's projected at 54 fantasy points here tonight. That's five times value. He's 10,700 FanDuel salary. And he's 300 less on DraftKings. So I think the Joker makes for an awesome stud pick here. He's been super consistent. His usage rate is through the roof. Scored over 54 fantasy points in his last three games. So I think he makes a lot of sense as the anchor of your lineup. So I like Nikolai Jokic here versus the Portland Trailblazers. Okay, another center that I like is Rudy Gobert from the Utah Jazz playing the Memphis Grizzlies, who have a middle of the pack defense overall, and they give up the third most fantasy points to opposing centers. Rudy Gobert has averaged 
40.5 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 17% usage rate. He scored 52, 35, and 40 fantasy points in the last three games, playing 35, 24, and 27 minutes. So Rudy Gobert has been consistently underpriced pretty much all season. He's been playing really well. He's been super consistent. Now he's projected at 42 fantasy points here tonight. On FanDuel, that's about five times value. His price, uh, he did get priced up on FanDuel. He's 8,500 FanDuel salary, but he's 800 less on DraftKings. So I love that DraftKings price. So Rudy Gobert has scored 52, 35, 35, 40, and 43 fantasy points in his last five games versus the Grizzlies. So I like Rudy Gobert here versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, now if you want to take a shot, and uh, now I would play Nikolai Jokic, but if you want to take a shot on this stud here at the center position, take a look at Joel Embiid. He hasn't played well so far in the playoffs, hasn't been playing a lot of minutes, hasn't been productive, he hasn't hit value once yet, despite having a fantastic matchup, but I just got a gut feeling that he's going to bust out and score over 50 fantasy points here tonight. So if you're looking for a, I don't even want to call it a high risk, high reward play, just a surprise pick here, take a look at Joel Embiid from the Philadelphia 76ers playing the Washington Wizards, who have the fourth worst defense overall, and they give up the second most fantasy points to opposing centers. Joel Embiid has averaged 49.3 fantasy points per game on the season, playing an average of 31 minutes per game with a 36% usage rate. Now, we only scored 34 and 40 fantasy points in the last two games, playing 26 and 29 minutes, but he is projected at 48 fantasy points here tonight, but I think he's gonna score 50 fantasy points or more, get you five times value or more. He's got 70 plus fantasy point upside, just waiting to bust out in the playoffs. He's 9,900 FanDuel salary and 100 less on DraftKings. Now, I kind of expect his ownership to be a little bit low here because he hasn't been playing many minutes, he hasn't been performing yet, and his salary is way up there. So I think he could be a surprise pick here tonight. So I like Joel Embiid here versus the Washington Wizards. If you want to try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself, click the link in the description below this video or just go to draftdashboard.com. You can use our DFS lineup optimizer to build quality lineups using our picks and your own custom player pool. Click the link in the description below this video and try all these daily fantasy tools right now. Thanks so much for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and hit that bell icon so you can get instant updates whenever we post a new video. Thank you so much for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please smickety smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Oh, and please comment below with your favorite player for this NBA slate. I love to hear what you guys have to think. Thanks again and good luck.